my name is Alan Richardson. I'm the Infrastructure Development Manager for the University of Stirling. Uh, my team are responsible for the servers, storage and network infrastructure that underpins all the operations of the institution. When we had power incidents which do occur from time to time, we couldn't wholly rely on the equipment that we had. We do have a lot of redundancy built into our systems um, which helps us to avoid total loss in the event of power outage. But nevertheless, um, equipment was being damaged by power failures, unexpected loss of power, and that was creating work for us. The amount of rack space used by the UPS equipment, uh, we couldn't afford it to grow. Um, we've recently reduced the number of data centres that we have in live operation as a result of outsourcing some services to the cloud. That means that the two remaining data centres are um, more utilised than they were before. And we have um, a strategy for the university which might require an increase in, in IT infrastructure. So it was quite critical to us that we didn't use any more space for the UPSs than we'd used before. We went to tender for um, power equipment because the equipment we had is very, very old. Um, we'd um, been wanting to replace it for quite a long time but been unable to do so for a variety of reasons. There were some very specific uh, space and power requirements in the tender, in the tender specification. Um, so we looked at uh, a couple of different manufacturers that we uh, that, that provided equipment that we could see might meet this specification. Uh, but in the end it came down to APC Schneider equipment um, really to do with uh, how much power we could get into a limited U space. The most important thing from my point of view uh, in terms of response to the tender was that I needed the bidders to show that they understood we were going to be working in live data centres with critical infrastructure and that they would be able to replace the equipment without loss of any service. From the start, APT did provide convincing responses and after appointment when we had the first project meeting and we met the people who were going to do, actually do the job, um, members of my team, technical people, were there and were actually um, quite reassured that APT did indeed know what they were talking about. We know the intricate detail of how to replace single phase UPS systems in a live data centre in racks because we've done it many times. One of my staff uh, put a great deal of effort into identifying possible problems with the replacement of the equipment and uh, eliminating those in advance of the APT team coming in. It was really a, a good team effort between um, the supplier and the, uh, and the customer.